Hey guys, thought I'd do a quick review today on the backpack I've been using. It's an East German Tornister pack. Though it does have a German counterpart from the name, but I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. I'll go ahead and post that when I do this video. Uh, I thought I'd show you some of the things I like about it and don't like about it, and also some of the modifications I've made to it. This pack is about a foot wide, about six or seven inches deep, and about 14 tall. It has one main compartment accessible by the two buckles. It's got a host of different attachments. Originally it came with a harness system that was used and integrated with the actual German outfit. So I couldn't use that obviously. Uh, but I've gone ahead and actually put on backpack straps from my Condor assault pack, my little two-day assault pack. And I've gone and also added the waist straps and things like that. And that makes it much more versatile and comfortable. Um, one thing I don't like about this pack, it being one open space on the inside you kind of have to have something soft up against your back or else it's going to hurt a whole bunch if you've got you know a canteen in there or something sharp or pointy or whatever you know you don't want that poking in your back uh, I happen to have my tarp in here so that works out real well uh, got a couple you know obviously the chest strap and different attachment points got one for my GoPro camera I've got like I said the uh, the waist harness that works out real well a good thing another good thing about this pack is since it's so small it rides really high on your back. For instance, when I was in Florida Everglades Day's advanced class, you know, walking through chest high water in some points, I don't think this bag even got wet. Unfortunately, this bag doesn't have any external pockets, so I went ahead and made one out of some bank line. It's kind of hard to see. I did a really tight weave. I actually used a pencil as a guide when I was making this. And this just uh, kind of slips in right here. Once you've got some, this isn't really fully packed, but once it's packed, this stays in there nice and tight. This just gives me one more option for storing stuff. Uh, it's real easy for my Write in the Rain notebook. Slip that in there real easy. Mostly easy. <laughs> you know, or if I'm using something and don't open my bag, I can slip my saw in there or something like that. Or it could be a really good place to dry tinder. If you're out walking around in the sun, store some tinder in there and that would dry nice and easy. But this seems to be like it's going to be somewhat of an advantage. I haven't used it yet. It actually comes apart pretty easy. This was originally, um, this wasn't the original design for it. Originally, I'd wanted to go along lengthwise, but I don't know. It didn't look right. It being solid black on the rain camo, just I didn't like the look of it, so I went ahead and made it smaller. Still prefer it rather be a neutral color, but I think you can actually get white bank line, but I'm not sure if it can be dyed or not. I'm just looking into that. But again, anyway, this was uh, originally 15 inches long by six inches wide and I believe 26 strands a five foot 280 pound bank line that I again just did a regular knot tying weave for a net I'm going to be going back and doing videos on this soon uh, and then I just went ahead and I used the tail ends and I stitched the edges, edges together and attach it down to the again more attachment points down here uh, if I needed to this could all come apart real easy and I'd have 10 feet of paracord plus the 200 something plus foot of bank line that I used. So it seems like that could be uh, quite useful. Alright, there are a couple of things that I both like and dislike about this pack. One is the buckles. They're not bad, they definitely hold real well and they're not going to be coming undone. But they've got this weird little little clasp down in here that's kind of annoying. You got to get it at the right angle. It's not really a big deal once you get used to it, but again, you're not going to be getting anything out of this pack extra quick. This just drops down if need be. And once we open this up, again, another buckle and some more flaps. Real nice thing about this pack is it has an integrated dry bag in it, so that works out quite well. Keeps everything nice and dry. When I was in the Everglades, this got submerged a couple of times and it didn't have any problems getting water in it. If you do happen to get water in it, it's got drainage holes one on each side. I've got, uh, like I mentioned, the tarp up against the where my back would be so I don't have a water bottle poking me or anything else. And I've also got it lined around the inside with my gear stuffed in the middle so that it doesn't poke the bag. I'm not sure what thickness this is, what mill exactly, but it feels pretty substantial. I haven't been concerned me at all. So as you can see, this thing seals up pretty darn tight. Works out well. The stitchings on it is pretty good. I didn't really have any problems with it or anything, but I went back and reinforced some of the spots with artificial sinew 
just in some of the stress points where I can get access to like the, the shoulder part right here and again this hardware was for the original backpack back strap system that attaches to the German outfit and belt that obviously I don't have so that didn't do me any good but these are much more comfortable anyway but it, uh, it's a real good pack you can pick them up from about three to fifteen dollars online at different stores lightweight carry a good amount of gear I've got you know all sorts of stuff in here and I'll, I'll post some pictures of the, the items that I have in here so it's a real good pack different attachment points and stuff might want to check them out alright guys thanks for watching